Pedro Rodriguez Filho is considered the biggest serial killer in all of Brazil. However, he was unlike any other psychopath you had ever heard of. Instead of killing innocents, he killed criminals and murderers. However, his bloody adventures as an anti-hero led him to a violent death. This is the story of Brazilian criminal's worst nightmare. Pedro Rodriguez Filho was born on October the 29th, 1954. Because he came from a very poor family, he could never study. For this reason, he began to dedicate himself to crime at the age of 10. According to rumors, Pedro killed his first victims when he was 11. Due to his psychopathic nature, he did not feel the slightest empathy when killing another human being in cold blood. However, other versions claim that he took his first life at the age of 14 after murdering the deputy mayor of the municipality of Alfinas for kicking out his father after accusing him of stealing food. Soon after, Pedro murdered the real food thief and escaped to Mogi das Cruzes in Sao Paulo. Then, he killed a drunk dealer and began stealing in the local slums. Nevertheless, his most brutal crime took place within his family. One day, Pedro learned that his father had killed his mother with 21 stab wounds with a machete. Soon, intrusive thoughts and anger invaded his mind, destroying his last glimmers of sanity. Driven by revenge, he visited his father in prison to murder him with a machete, the same type of weapon he had used to kill his mother. Yet, even the number of wounds he inflicted on his father was meticulously planned. Since he was a very vindictive person by nature, he returned the 21 stab wounds he had inflicted on his mother and inflicted an additional one. He then made an incision in his chest and ripped out his heart, biting it and throwing it over his body. This brutality was extremely characteristic of the murderer. It is for this reason that the criminals were so afraid of him. Due to this tragic event, Pedro believed he could improve society by killing other criminals. So he began to do his part, killing every narco or assassin he encountered. In several interviews, Pedro had assured that he killed for pleasure and revenge on those with the criminal path to do good for society. That is why some people called him the perfect psychopath. If Pedro could direct all his anger and violence at the most problematic sector, of the population, he could use his illness to keep the streets safe. After continuing to purge the streets of Brazil, he met the love of his life, Maria Aparathida Olympia, the widow of his victims. But unfortunately, the woman suffered a tragic fate at the hand of one of the killer's rivals. Even if Rodriguez hated drug traffickers, he saw nothing wrong with making a living at their expense. That's why he often robbed and plundered their territories. One day, he decided to take over the business of the man he had killed and whose widow he had fallen in love with. Unfortunately, the constant killings carried out by Philo caused him to make powerful enemies. Despite this, Pedro could keep them at bay with his madness and brutality. For this reason, the drug traffickers had to find a way to deal with Pedro's serious blow. If they couldn't end his life, they would attack the person he cared most about about his girlfriend. That is why his enemies kidnapped Maria Aparathida Olympia had savagely tortured and mutilated her to death. But unfortunately for them, these narcos were unaware what kind of beast they had just awakened. The death of his girlfriend gave Pedro a new mission to exact revenge. When he set out to kill someone, he would not rest until he did. For this reason, he set out to track down all the people involved in Maria's murder and interrogated them individually. Each time he caught one of those involved, he tortured him obtained information and executed them to get to the next person on his list. This modus operandi allowed him to get to the criminal who had murdered Maria. After that, he waited patiently to attack him at the most inopportune moment. Then one day, Pedro burst into a wedding party with four friends and killed the person responsible for Maria's murder, and six of those were present. As a result, 16 people were also injured in the altercation. The following years, Philo's life was much more brutal and bloodthirsty. Soon, every criminal in Brazil was afraid of becoming the next victim of Pedrino Matador. However, since he was young and inexperienced, justice eventually managed to track him down. In 1973, he was sentenced to 120 years in prison. Despite this, his long stay in prison did not prevent him from pursuing his twisted sense of justice. In fact, he committed his next crime while he was being transferred. Rodriguez was in the back of a police vehicle with two criminals in handcuffs. But when the officers opened the vehicle door, 
they found that one of them had been killed, this horrific scene would be etched in the officers' minds forever. After the murder, the officers transferred Pedro to prison without knowing the mistake they had just made. Since Pedro was surrounded by criminals, he began killing them individually, eventually disposing of 47 inmates. Most of the 71 victims attributed to him were in prison. However, Pedro claimed to have killed more than 100 people, but the authorities could never find all the bodies. He entered prison at 19 and remained until he was 53, dedicated to killing as many inmates as possible. Among these murders, he killed a friend because he had murdered his sister. As a result, he earned the hatred of the entire prison population. For this reason, many inmates agreed to take Rodriguez's life, but unfortunately, they did not count on the ferocity of the serial killer. Pedro killed three of his attackers during the ambush and wounded two others. After that, few dared to attack him again. During another interview, Pedro confessed that he took pleasure in killing other criminals and had to work hard to keep his impulses in check. This violent behavior earned him a 400-year sentence. Despite this, Rodriguez Filo was released in 2007 after 34 years in prison. Since the new penal codes in Brazil do not allow a person to serve more than 30 consecutive years in prison, his 400-year sentence was unarmed. After regaining his freedom, Filo began working as a security guard. However, on September the 15th, 2011, the authorities arrested him again for illegal possession of weapons, his participation in six riots, and threatening to kill the then serial killer, the Park Maniatic. It is believed that they could track him down because one of the agents of the Civil Police Division of Criminological Investigations received anonymous information that Pedrino Matador was hiding some somewhere in the city of Camboriol, and it is possible that this information was provided by one of his many enemies. However, his second stay in prison did not last long as he was released again in 2008. Thanks to his growing popularity and the advice of a friend, he created a YouTube channel where he shared videos explaining his criminal background and advising young people and the general public not to commit acts against human life. Unfortunately, his YouTube career came to a crashing end. On March the 5th, 2023, after spending decades terrorizing other Brazilian criminals, Rodriguez finally died at their hands. The 68-year-old was in front of his home in Mogi das Cruzes when he was accosted by several hooded attackers who got out of a car to shoot him dead. The serial killer's body was found with multiple wounds, so his assailants spared no bullets. Unfortunately, the authorities could not identify the hitman, but they suspected it could be a revenge killing. Since Pedro had too many enemies, it is possible that several criminal groups were plotting to take revenge. That is how Brazil's biggest serial killer lost his life. His assassinations won him thousands of supporters who believed he was a necessary evil to curb crime. As a result, his peculiar life inspired the series Dexter, which shows a psychopath using his murderous talents to eliminate the worst criminals. Today, the story of Pedro Rodriguez Filho is well known throughout Brazil. While some people defend the crimes he committed, others think he was worse than the criminals he hunted. Yet, no matter what people believe, he would always remain in the memory of the Brazilian people as one of the most prominent serial killers to ever walk the earth.